Couples wanting to conceive should be really starting to be proactive about it by the time they hit their 30s. If they want to have a baby and that's in their life plan, then that's the time when people should be really thinking about it. If you're a couple and the woman is aged under 35 and you've been trying for a year and having no success, at that point it really is sensible to make an appointment with a fertility specialist to investigate things further. If you're aged over 35, things become a little bit more urgent and I wouldn't be, I'd be recommending patients to try no longer than six months before they sought the assistance of a fertility specialist. I need to clarify that for some couples, seeking assistance earlier than six months is sensible. For some couples, there may be a history of sexually transmitted infections or regular cycles or some male factor problem that really means that the chance of conceiving is much lower than in other couples. For those couples, they should seek assistance uh, sooner rather than later. Age does affect the quality of a woman's eggs. We know that as a woman ages, the ability of the cell to divide and to release the 23 chromosomes that are required to allow the chromosomes from the sperm to create an embryo doesn't work as well. This can result in a longer time to pregnancy, can result in a failure of ever achieving a pregnancy, can result in a higher rate of miscarriages, and finally can result in an increased rate of abnormalities such as Down syndrome and other genetic problems. The effect of a man's age on fertility is not nearly as dramatic as the effect of a woman's age. Men produce sperm throughout their lifetime while women are born with all the eggs they'll ever have. Because of this, we take a woman's age very seriously when we consider a couple coming to see us. But a man's age, while important, does not have quite the same significance. Women often come in to see me and ask whether there is something they can do about their decline in egg number or their decline in egg quality. Because a woman is born with a set number of eggs and these decline with age, there's nothing we can do to slow this down. We can of course improve the chances of conceiving by improving overall lifestyle factors. So things like smoking reduction, reduction in weight, uh, reduction in caffeine and alcohol intake may play a role. These things will certainly contribute to a, a couple's chance of conceiving. But can we turn around the effects of age on a woman's ovaries? No, we can't. I'd strongly recommend anybody thinking about conceiving to come in and have a chat with a fertility specialist about the impact of age and other medical factors on their fertility. This might mean that they recommend an AMH test, which I think is a very sensible thing to do in many cases. And it may be that your fertility specialist says, hey, listen, there's nothing we need to do right now. Go away and attempt to conceive naturally. But for others, having this information on board can really help guide you with respect to where you go with your fertility treatment.